Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli, and today we're back with another speed build, and today we're doing another apartment build. I told you guys I made so much apartments, and I love them, and I thought I'd show you guys. So this apartment is going to be kind of like a Scandinavian chic type of studio type of, not really studio because it's two bedrooms, um, type of, you know, family apartment, um, kind of, um, yes, I somehow turned this really small apartment into a two bedroom house. Um, the second, the, the bedrooms aren't that big, I warn you. Um, when I was doing this, um, when I was doing this build, I was trying to like base it off of the image that you guys see and, but it was kind of hard for me to do it because this, this apartment is shaped so weird. And of course, if I, if I did this build in like, you know, excuse me the apartment that I always do my apartment builds in, then, you know, I just felt like it would take away from it because I literally always do apartments in there. So I was like, you know what? I am going to strive and I'm going to find figure out a way to make this build work. And I found out to make it work and it looks so good. It has a laundry room. It has a bathroom, a full bathroom. It has, um... A bedroom um it has it has a master bedroom of course not really it's a small master because i put it in the back of the house but um it has you know a small bedroom and a even smaller bedroom for a baby um this bedroom is like it, this is what you would find in like you know new york los angeles for a very expensive price for like it's small it's small but i love the way it came out i absolutely adore this apartment um, I actually really want to use it, but I don't have any sims to use it on at the moment. All my sims are, like, family-wise right now. Um, my current household is family-wise. My LPs, they're family-wise. So, I can't really use this house. So, if you guys want to use it, up to you, because I'm not using it, right? So, I'd rather someone else use it than me. So, yeah, here. So, I was going to make the back into one just big bedroom, but I changed it up. Um and i pushed it back made that into like a little bathroom and then yeah i added a little baby's room yeah there you go there's the bathroom now um it, it's still annoying me that flipping um what's it called again that um that uh what's it called again that um caution sign that annoys the hell out of me um i will say i'm depressed i'm not depressed but i'm mad at myself because i wasted some space as you can see in the back just because the kitchen was a bit too like i wanted it to match the the picture and the kitchen was too big it was too deep so i had to you know change it up and waste a bit of space which annoys me because wasted space in this small apartment is like not needed but what else can you do um but anyways yeah i truly enjoy this apartment it's like it has like all the chic things that i like um it's of course it's um what's it called again it has a white kitchen i love white kitchens it has like this exterior subtitle brick ha not brick um tiling it has brick it has everything i love in this apartment when i saw this picture online i knew i had to make it um but anyways i hope you guys do enjoy it i hope you guys like the build and of course all the pieces okay i need to say something real quick i apologize for yesterday's video i told you guys in 20 minutes i put the tray files i totally fell asleep and forgot i remember this morning that i need to put the tray files in so i put them in i apologize so much i am so sorry i i should have done it earlier but i fell asleep um like guilty as charged but um hopefully you guys can forgive me but um yeah cc links for this house is pretty much like the other one it's just um oh yeah shout out to that one person she found the the count the was called i found the counters for me so go check out the comment section in my other videos and if you're looking for like the counters not these counters but the other counters i use in my older videos um yeah they posted that there also um you guys have asked me what is the book that i write so the book is called the the, the very the very steamy book i was watch uh, reading uh listening to should i say it was called um coach long I will say though, if you don't feel comfortable with people saying the P word, or the C word, or the A word, or you know, just a bunch of provocative words, um, don't read that book. <laughs> don't read it. Don't look at the cover. Don't do anything towards that book. Just run the other way because that book is, whew, it is hot and heavy. It is, um, <laughs> it's a bit much. Um, they, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a bit much. And also, guys, a teacher was like wondering, like, what, what, what type of like teacher relationship was it? Um. <laughs> She was in high school. <laughs> she was in high school. I think it was grade. She was in high school, grade eleven, and he was um yeah, he was thirty. She was she was eighteen. Mm -hmm, so she was legal. Um, she was eighteen and he was thirty seven. Mm -hmm. Um, how much of an age gap is that? Hold up. How much of an age gap? Fifteen years. Yeah, a fifteen year age gap. That's not too bad, you know. Like, 
that's to like the the age of a, a, a what's called a grade nine. So, anyways, it was a great book. Uh, I don't want to ruin it because the people are actually gonna watch it again. It's called Coach Long. Um, but if you guys do end up reading it, who the ending though? The ending. But moving on. I hope you guys enjoyed the book if you guys do end up watching but again if you're not comfortable with the c word the p word the d word the any type of sexual words out there do not listen to the book you have been warned um but anyways guys i want to quickly thank you guys so much for on the last video you guys gave me so much book suggestions like honestly thank you and the funny thing is i read most of those already i'm like sitting there like wow read i read I read that. That's good. Um, I read that, you know. I actually read a, a good amount of you guys' books already, so you know I'm a book nerd. But um, honestly, thank you guys so much for all those book suggestions. I'm definitely going to take them down and read them when I have, when I'm done with my new book, which is actually this Mafia book, and it's pretty good too. Honestly, I have no clue what's wrong with me right now. I'm in this, like, very weird state of book reading but anyways also so today is supposed to be shout out sundays but i'm going to skip it today and do it tomorrow just because today i want to talk to you guys about something and i want you guys opinions because we're in 2019 and i don't think i've ever done a uh, what to expect from the sims 4 in 2019 so i want to sit here just have a little talk with you guys about what i want the sims 4 to like have and what i hope would have or who i uh, want the sims 4 to change or something like that um and I'll let you, and I want to hear your opinions down below in the comments. So the question of the day is, what do you guys want in The Sims 4 in 2019? Um, and other than top of that, so that's one question. Another question you can answer is, what do you want to see? So like, what do you want? But like, when I say, what do you want to see? I mean, like, what do we have already that you want to like improve? Like, for example, we have like the gardening skill. You want the gardening skill to, you know, improve this and that. And for what do you want? Like, what kind of expansion packs do you want? Like, do you want, okay. So let me just start into it because I have such high hopes for 2019. One thing that I'm hoping for expansion pack wise is university. I know it's coming, but I always, I can't wait to send my kids out to university because it's like a stage of life that not everyone goes through, but it's such a prominent stage that um, I feel like a lot of my Sims would love to do. So I'm super excited for that. And I'm also extremely excited for, you know, a pack that's surrounded by, um, how is it? Surrounded by crime. I don't know. I might be the only one who wants this, but I feel like the game is way too good. Like, I love the game. I love how it is, but I need some crime in my life. Like, I need that sense of fear and danger for my sins, you know, story-wise and just realistic-wise. The world is not a, like, you know, a happy, fun place where everybody wears, you know, unicorn dresses. No, people, like, are people, I don't say scared, but people, you know, have fears and people, you know, are hunted down, you know. I, I I, I'm excited to add that, you know, that dark side to The Sims. Even though I know there's mods out there, I feel like there needs, I feel like, I'm not talking about murder, I'm talking about like burglaries and, you know, like, you know, theft, stuff like that. Maybe not in like an actual like expansion pack, but you know, like a game pack, like repo, stuff like that. Negative things to the game, just, you know, to make it more realistic because there's so much positives and so much fun stuff, but life's not like that there's always negatives in this game there's always you know crime and i hopefully they add that into the game so i'm excited for that and of course university of course talked about that another thing that i really want to add to the game but of course i don't think i'm bringing back because i don't think it's gonna happen but i'm pretty sure a modder can do it i've talked about this before but grocery stores i need grocery stores back i hate how you can just go to your fridge and buy something no i love in the sims 3 how you could have went to the grocery store and picked up groceries and then got back home i feel like that's such a a needed thing you can't just buy things at home i feel like you need to get groceries that's something that needs to happen and so I'm waiting for a way because it's possible it has it to where um, it's like if you buy if you have all the ingredients for a specific recipe then it doesn't cost anything and I feel like if they added that into the game more a lot of people would use the gardening skill because you'd want to grow your own vegetables because you can save money so I feel like that would be like a win-win because people would be using more of the gardening skill and it would add more realistic and more realistic touch and just a more fun way of cooking you know how how cool would it be to know that you're growing all the stuff in your bar like, like all the stuff that you grow in your garden you can use to cook and it's going to be free it's going to make you more motivated to you know garden so i think that'd be a great idea but of course i'm not part of the sims team so i hopefully they find a way to like add that into the game i honestly think I just I just wish we had more realistic touches like that and also with another set of realistic touches 
we need we need shower woohoos. I don't care. We need shower woohoos. It's just it needs to happen. Like I miss it in The Sims 3. I use shower woohoos all the time. Everything. We need shower woohoos back. Like it makes the hundred baby challenge so much easier for me. Uh, also, I'm in I'm obsessed with that challenge. It is so much fun to do. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I literally binge. Like I'm doing literally one episode per day. Mm -hmm. I'm binging it one episode per day. Like I said, um, honestly, honestly, I, we need, we need woohoo showers. Am I right? I'm right. I know. Woohoo showers need to come back. Also, photo booths. I also want them to like, with photo booths, I want them to, you know, I want them to revamp the, like, the, I want them to revamp the camera skill. Or should I say not the ph photography? I don't want to say the skill, but I want to wear depending on the person's mood the po the poses change like i want some romantic photos you know i want my sims you know wouldn't it be so like cute if your sim could like if they're both in like a romantic move or the romantic mood or if the sim like they the game knows that they're in a relationship or in some type of relationship romantically and like they have like a, a like a you know a, a selfie of them kissing or a selfie of them kissing on the cheek or you know a selfie of them you know posing you know just different selfies for different like moods i feel like we need that in the game it adds so much more realisticness to the thing like the same po the same three poses every single time is annoying i know you can add mods again ow i just hit my hand on the thing but yeah i know you can add mods into the game but i feel like again again you it still doesn't like if just like the mods are great and everything but also by the way if you guys have any like new mods that like change the selfies please hook a brother up i need it i've been using the same selfie thing for the last four years three years whatever if someone can give me some like new selfie poses like that actually work when the sim takes a selfie please link it to me send me an email do whatever you can i will be forever grateful like if you can do it i might hook you up with something i'm that i'm that desperate honestly but honestly if you have any of those mods please send it to me like honestly help a brother out i need it i need it in my my life so um that's definitely something i hope to come those are like definitely my main ones another one that would be fun is you know more interaction with babies like i need stroller backs like why can't we like put the babies in the stroller take them for a walk how cute would that be you know and then you could have like could you guys imagine like you take the babies out for a walk and then you have like you know like a mother's club and then they all like show up at the park with their like little babies even toddlers like children should be able to work for toddlers and for babies and then you can have like a little play date in the park and then all the mothers can come with their toddlers in the stroller and then they let the kids play at like the toddler park like you know a to we need toddler meetups too i feel like i have no clue if you can set play dates um I know, I know you can, but you need to, like, know the toddler, which is hard. Like, how can you, like, know a toddler in itself? Um, I feel like we need some way for toddlers to meet each other, if that makes any sense. You know how children, children can meet at school? Tod we need daycare. We need to uh, send our kids to daycare so, to it, so toddlers can meet other toddlers. Because it's, it's so sad when I have, like, one child in the household and I want them to, like, have toddler friends. And I don't know how to get toddler friends. That means I literally have to go over to, like, the person's house and meet them. So if there's like a way like daycare or something, I feel like we need to add that into the game. But again, more interactions with the kids and all that. And can we bring back Peekaboo? Y'all remember Peekaboo in The Sims 3? Peekaboo, like how much that like literally got up like their um their happiness and their skills. Can we please have that back? Peekaboo needs to come back. Honestly, these small details. I know people expect me to talk about cars and talk about open world, but again, I let that stuff go. Cars are great. I love cars. I think it'd be great. Also, we need another world with like townhouses apartments yes please townhouses we need townhouses or sub or um semi-detached houses you know where you can have two people living on the same lot but it's like apartments where one side would be blurred out something like that please that'd be great and then you need to add another world of more apartments like i love these apartments they're great i'll forever use them but we need some more ones like you know like come on you're telling me only one city or only one world's gonna have apartments and that's it come on hook us up please and no more delso valleys like no more 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 spaces like honestly there's so much list there's so much to the list that can go on but honestly i feel like this is gonna be a good year and if i could honestly go to like the sims thing and like give them some of my advice i would totally let them but <laughs> never been invited but honestly that's what i hope to happen this year let me know down below what do you guys hope to happen this year and what are your guys's positives and what do you guys really want so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and again i'll see you guys on the flip side as always enjoy the
the builds, enjoy the CC, and I'm out. Bye, guys. Deuces. Peace. Laters.